After nearly 50 years of providing electricity, the Pilgrim Power Station shut down tonight forever. It means Massachusetts no longer has a working nuclear power plant. Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni talked with experts about what this means for the future of energy sources across the region. She joins us in the control room now with the new details. Energy experts say the closure of the Pilgrim nuclear power plant won't necessarily have an impact on the region's energy supply. With the national focus on alternative resources like wind and solar, more clean energy plants are opening up, helping counter any impacts the closure of the Pilgrim nuclear power plant might have. It's a five-hour process to shut down the Pilgrim nuclear power plant, which has been in operation for nearly 50 years. Now only two other commercial nuclear power plants are in operation in New England, in New Hampshire and Connecticut. We've been seeing this trans transition in the region with resources leaving, but new resources coming in. And George is vice president of ISO New England, which operates the region's power grid. The future is really looking at uh, cleaner resources, uh, renewable resources, wind, solar, but then also more efficient natural gas resources are coming on. As we've previously reported, the 680 megawatt plant went online in 1972 and employed nearly 600 people. According to federal data, Massachusetts it receives about one-sixth of its electricity from the Pilgrim nuclear power plant. Several power plants have closed down, like the coal-powered Brayton Point in Somerset. But even with these closures, George isn't worried about a shortage in energy supply. As of right now, uh, especially for the, for the summer, we're seeing uh, resources available for, for all six states, um, and so we don't anticipate any issues. It will be decades before the full process of powering down the nuclear plant is complete, costing more than $1 billion. Reporting in the control room, I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.